the car. We just left Whole Foods. Well, we're still in the parking lot. My dad is putting the bags in the back because it's raining outside. He a real man. Y'all, I'm so proud of myself because I didn't get any junk. I got absolutely no junk food. Got some snacks for Zay, but yeah, I'm very proud of myself. I didn't record myself yeah. shopping, but y'all gonna yeah. see when we get to the crib. Okay, so we're back um, from the store. I end up getting some hot food. I usually don't eat hot food from a store like that, but I wanted to try it because it always looks and smells so good. So like, I'm gonna try some. Let me show you what we got. Okay, we got traditional mac and cheese. We got chickpea something, some type of soup stuff with a lot of vegetables, a samosa, and then uh, what you call it. Mac is, you know, regular, whatever. It's not too bad, honestly. But, yeah, we gonna dig in. It's not bad. The mac is fine. We are gonna try the pasta. I love some pasta. Mmm. I don't know it's good. It tastes like Mama. it's just good. Uh, Mama. Hmm? What's this one? Let's go ahead and try these chickpeas. They're pretty good too. Okay, so so far the mac is good. The pasta is good. I forgot exactly what it's called, but it is delicious. Mama. Yes. Mama. Chickpeas are good. This has carrots, cauliflower. Probably some. It smells really good. Mama. Hmm. What is this one? Mmm. That got a kick to it. That's spicy. But I love spicy, so it's cool. Then the samosa. I'm gonna try the samosa. It's not bad. Mama. Wanna try the samosa? What this one? Try it. Okay, I'm not disappointed. Honestly, I did bring the, you know, the Creole seasoning to save the day, just in case. But it was pretty good. I'll give it like a seven and a half, maybe a solid eight out of ten. And then my body doesn't feel like feel like congested or. It doesn't seem like a heavy meal, if that makes sense. But I paid $25 for it. I ain't gonna lie, it was a hefty price. But when I want to eat, I want to eat. And I stuffed it. Like, I stuffed this plate. Because I knew it was going to be expensive. And I didn't have to get all of this, but I was like, I want to try a little bit of, you know. So, I'm glad that that was good. And y'all, in a second, we're going to go look at the stuff that i bought because i still haven't unpacked my bags honestly i came back and immediately start cleaning as soon as I, I put my groceries up you know before i put my the house need to be clean so i just cleaned up a little bit and we're just now eating we've probably been back for about 30 45 minutes and we're just now eating i didn't eat anything when i got up this morning it's only been a few hours but but yeah so we're gonna go look at the stuff that i bought in just a moment Y'all sit tight. I'll be right back. Mama. Hmm. Mama. Hmm. Mama. Yes. Hey, y'all. I ain't gonna lie. This samosa is heating. Are the Somalis in the chat with us? This, this is pretty good. No, I got nothing meat. I have nothing meat on this plate. I'm not the biggest fan of meat. That's just not my thing right now. Um, I hardly ever get too much meat anyway but um this hitting though this meal is definitely good i think i did good in picking what i eat wait till y'all see what i bought okay i know lighting is really bad hopefully y'all can hear me okay so i know lighting isn't the best right here Yes, I'm punching my head and patting it because it itches. These braids itch for what? This is so... Ugh. What's wrong? All right. So, we are going to Mama. look at what I got. From Mama, just okay, we're going to look at what we got from Whole Foods today. Bananas. 
kiwis. Apples. What kind of apples are these? Red. Okay. You're right. They are red. I'll cash at you ten dollars if you know what kind of apples these are. Do y'all believe in refrigerating your apples or do you keep them sitting out? Because I know, like, when you go to the grocery store, where are the apples? Not refrigerated. They're sitting out. So, sorry, the monster wanted to invade. But yeah, the apples are sitting out when you go to the grocery store. So, what made us decide to start putting them inside of the um, refrigerator? I just. I don't know. Please let go on the child. So we got the apples, the bananas, limes. Goodness gracious. Okay. Before I was totally interrupted, um, I also got some orange juice because orange juice is just, I don't know, kind of healthier. I'm not sure. You know I had to get some ranch dressing. You know I had to get some ranch dressing. I got these for the baby, Annie's. I like their, I like Annie's um, snacks for kids. These are good. I eat these myself. Some chips. And I was down south, in the north, down south. I got put on hummus. It's not that bad. So we're just going to, I got, this is roasted red pepper hummus. And then I also got roasted garlic hummus. So that's what the chips are for. Baby loves chips, but like, I don't want to keep giving him chips that has got so much junk. I don't want to keep like giving the baby like stuff that's not good for him. A little bit of something is cool every now and then, but it's like if I'm constantly eating it, he's gonna constantly eat it. And then that's gonna be all he ever wants. He's never gonna eat anything different. I'm trying to switch it up and introduce him to new things um because i want him to be as healthy as possible you know his health is important to me as my health is also important to me and that's why i've made a change hopefully y'all can hear me over all that damn patent i'm so sorry um but yeah i'm just trying to make a change within our health we are healthy there is nothing going on there's nothing wrong We don't have any sicknesses or anything. I just want to make sure we stay healthy. So I also got some dates. Dates are good. They're pretty good for you. They give like a natural boost of sugar. Dates and cream cheese. Yes. So I got some of those. The kid loves blueberries. I only like them when they're sour. But I'll still eat them. Try to encourage him to eat them. We have some yogurt in there too. Some vanilla yogurt. Also got some strawberries. Not big on strawberries, I won't even lie. But the kid eats them. We're not gonna be eating a whole bunch of heavy foods, you know. We're gonna try to keep it pretty light for the most part. Also got a mango. If anyone knows when the best time to eat a mango is, please let me know. I'm talking about like from the outside. How do you know when it's ready to eat? Cause I never know. Got some carrots. Bubba's always talking about. I want carrots. And then he doesn't eat them. So hopefully he eats them with a little bit of ranch. Because I know he likes sauces and stuff. Got some avocados. Avocado toast in the morning. Um, just a light snack, you know. And then I also got some cucumbers. Because cucumbers taste fresh and you feel fresh after you eat them. Let's see what else we can unpack. Let's go over here to this mighty fine table. Hi there. Hi, how are you? Yeah, I got some white vinegar. This is to wash the strawberries and the fruit and stuff. I also got some apple cider vinegar. Just because, I don't know, my intuition was like, just get it. And lately, my intuition has been really speaking to me, like very clearly. So I'm trying to make sure that I listen. I also got coconut oil. Coconut oil is good for a number of things. Nine times out of ten, they're going to be for body. Like, I don't really cook with coconut oil. I don't eat it. Um, but it's good for teeth, bacteria, all kind of stuff. So, I'm going to use that. And then I got Himalayan pink salt. Now, I know. 
don't do me because i know i could easily just make my own oatmeal and i like to do that but with how i've been feeling lately baby we're gonna go ahead and undo these packets and eat okay we got some cinnamon oat granola with flaxseed what put this in some yogurt probably really good for you high fiber i need to be getting my fiber together because my gut and my digestive system is just terrible I'm always constipated, always. Like, I can never just go to the bathroom like a normal human being. It's terrible. Like, I can't, I can't, I can't stand it. So, I'm trying to make a change. And speaking of, if you are like me and constipated often, try these, right? Um, This cereal is so... I'm not going to say, like, oh, it's the most delicious cereal ever, but I know my auntie, I got two boxes. I know my auntie introduced me to that cereal when I was really young, and I just always liked it. I I never seen it anywhere else. Um, we was in Ohio when she introduced it to us, and um, yeah, I never like seen it anywhere else. And then finally, as I got a little older, I was like, "Hey, mommy, what's that cereal?" Well, I'm can't stand that cereal, but I like it. It's pretty good. Put a little bit of sugar. It's a little bit. A little bit. It's it's really uh, good. It has a lot of fiber in it, so just imagine how good that is for your system. That's literally that's all I bought, guys. I didn't buy a lot of stuff. I'm actually very happy I didn't spend a whole bunch of um on junk. Oh, and I got no sweets. Did y'all notice that? I didn't get any sweets. I didn't get any BS. Now, anytime I go shopping for food, I'm getting cake, I'm getting ice cream, I'm getting cookies, I'm getting fruit snacks, I'm getting candy. Y'all, something in me is like, no. Went to the store, and thankfully I went to Whole Foods. When you go to Whole Foods, Whole Foods feels like, I don't know why it looks so dark under my eyes. Like, it looks like, um, I don't know, I don't care, whatever still cute though <laughs> whole foods is like a really nice store they're pretty expensive but you know they're cool um but yeah so that's what i got let's put this stuff up and then i'm gonna get back with y'all okay so we're back on the bed i like to be comfortable we definitely put up all of our groceries already i'm just excited to just eat better you know I know, like, my friends would probably look at this video and be like, girl, I could never eat at your house. Honestly, at least your ass to be healthy. You're not going to be eating junk. You're going to come over here and be eating anything that's going to be messing you up. I got a lot, but I didn't get a lot, right? I'm just thinking about how I'm not hungry all the time. I'm hungry one time a day. Once a day. So I'm just thinking about how, like, the only reason people feel like they have to eat so much or they have to you know eat a lot of this and 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 a lot of this to be okay is because that's what you do you you've made that a pattern you've made that something that your body is used to so when your body gets used to that of course every couple hours you're going to be hungry because your your body is used to you stuffing your face every couple hours with a full meal you know what i'm saying so i since I stopped doing that, I'm not hungry every couple hours. I'm hungry once a day, maybe twice if I'm up at 3 a.m. Um, and that's it. I can eat something light and I can be okay. And that's what I want to do. That's the whole purpose of me changing how I eat right now. Pr practically, I'm fasting. Practically, I'm fasting. Like, um you know just fasting from foods that aren't good for me i'm not doing a full-blown like no food fast or whatever i am drinking water as well only juice i got was orange juice i didn't get anything sugary and if you know i think that's like literally just 100 percent orange juice i need to look at the back but i got this water bottle from I got this from where is it from um Burlington 
it's so cute got it from burlington it's huge it was like 15 dollars i think but yeah it's cute it's like a no spill drink it keeps everything cold that ice that you hear shaking around in there is from last night so just imagine if you have a cold drink you need to stay cold it does keep it cold you can eat healthy and once you stop eating so much things won't be as hard for you you know like once you realize you don't need to eat as much as you eat I'm not saying starve yourself obviously if you're hungry go ahead and get something to eat but the whole three meals a day you know like it's not 100 percent necessary but i do understand getting all your calories and stuff nutrients and vitamins and it's ways you can do that without overeating and overstuffing yourself so probably for the next few vlogs you'll see me eating little things at a time nothing major you might see me with a meal like that one i bought which is pretty good and i'm happy i got that because that also puts you know nutrients and vitamins in my system that's needed um i didn't get anything too unhealthy either i know it's not the healthiest but it's really not that unhealthy it's a lot of vegetables in there honestly which if it's up to me i ain't really gonna eat them vegetables unless my auntie is making some um some spinach that's about it I am trying to get my body back together. Cheers to trying to be healthier. I'm going to take it one day at a time. If this is something you're also working on, take it a day at a time. Don't tell yourself, oh, I'm going to do this for 30 days. Because that's, you put that in your head and it kind of makes it harder because you're like, damn, I got 15 days left. Man, that's a long time. Like, no, just take it a day at a time. I'm deciding to eat healthier, listen to your intuition, because that's what I did today, and that's why I didn't get any junk. Okay. I'm very, very proud of myself. Um, and just have faith in yourself. You know, stay strong, pray. Uh, you'll be all right. You can accomplish anything you want when you're consistent and when you listen to your intuition, when you pray about it. And, um, yeah, you got it. No worries. But. <laughs> but. Yeah, that's about it as far as the food. Like, I'm trying to get back in my creative zone. For my creatives out there, how, what do you do? What inspires you to stay creative, to get in your creative mode? To Like, I'm in my creative mode, but it's like, this is not full-blown in my creative mode. Because when I'm in my creative mode, my music is like bomb but when i'm just trying to be there and i'm pushing myself it's, it's okay it's, it's never bad but i don't know it's like where's the vibe you know what i mean so like what do you do to be to to stay in your creative mode that helps you what is it that you do i want to know i know everyone's different but i just want to know maybe there's something i can do to help me i think my head's still itching like crazy Ooh, that's probably a dietary issue too. My hair likes to flake up, and and um, yeah, I just can't stand it. So you know, I'm changing a lot of things, changing a lot of things. Also, applied for a job. I've been applying for mad jobs, but obviously they don't want me, which is fine, cause I don't want y'all either. <laughs> but I got some tricks up my sleeve, so I need some money coming in, so I can you feel me? Do what I gotta do so I can start making it from youtube or social media or something and i'm really not pushing my social medias i'm not pushing my youtube i'm not pushing my tiktok i'm not pushing my insta or my snapchat but i don't know it's like i don't have a fear of putting myself out there it's just like i i don't know what it is i'm just not pushing it as much as i probably should so i'm gonna try to push it a little bit more um for the ladies or the gentlemen you know if y'all know anyone who enjoys watching youtube and will just sit and watch youtube all day i don't know if guys would enjoy my content honestly 
but um you know just share it subscribe whatever whatever um I'm going to keep going with it regardless of how many shares, likes, views, or subscribers I get. Because uh, it's just something that I actually like to do. But I do have some ideas, some tricks up my sleeve. And if all, and when all goes well, I'll be able to document everything I did and share it with the world to help someone else out. So... The baby's sleep now, thankfully, because he's been my, my, mom all day. While he's sleeping, I'm going to relax because I probably only got three hours of sleep, maybe. He likes to go to bed at six in the morning. We got up pretty early today to go shopping. Um, but, yeah, for the past week, he's been going to bed at five, six a.m. My fault, oh, mom. But, um, thankfully, right now, he's taking a nap because he needs it. So... I'm about to go ahead and log out. Thank you guys for watching. Thank you always for tuning in. If you have my socials, feel free to hit me up. I still want to do the anonymous story time. Or no, the anonymous confession. So if y'all have confessions, if you know anybody with like a good confessional story time or something, send it to my email, vibeswithdez at yahoo.com. Um, and then eventually i'll be able to uh do those on here those are always interesting um fasting is just a really good thing to do it helps clear your mind your body everything i've been trying to make sure that i'm listening to god because i have so many plans i have so many plans i have so many things i want for myself but it's like you can want whatever, you can plan whatever, but what is God saying to you? What is God saying is the right move for you? I'm not in any position to make the wrong move, to make a move going down the wrong path. I am I am not in any position to be set back again at all. So it's very important that I'm paying attention and listening um, and that's exactly my purpose in the way that I'm moving from this point forward. Um, just trying to be more intentional about it all. So, if that's something you feel like you need to do, then go ahead and do it, you know? And go ahead and do that. But yeah, that's it. So, let me get out of here because I'm tired and I'm full and I'm tired. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you again for tapping and tuning in with me. Stay strong out here. Love you guys. Bye.